Do you need help managing your channel so you can create more and work less? Link will be in the description of this video for TubeBuddy. Brought to you by TubeBuddy. Work less, create more. What's up? Is that your name? Rank? Special is Alexander Maves. <laughs> I was gonna say your name, right? Cause I'll screw you up. What is it, you know, fucking POW now? <laughs> so what do you think of a rack? This place sucks ass, and I think you should just glass the whole country and be done with it. Because... I mean, honestly, my fucking political views don't matter. It doesn't matter what I think, whether we should be here or not. I'm here. I gotta deal with it. You know, I don't fucking care if the war was justified or not. I'm just here to fucking try and make sure my uh, fellow soldiers don't get too hurt. But honestly, I don't like this place. I mean, I can tell that we've done a lot of good here. It's better than it used to be. But my prediction is within five years of America not being here anymore, Fucking IA are getting more thrown. What do you think of leadership? My leadership? Yeah. I think I lucked out. I think uh, that's a pretty good leadership. Um, squad leader, team sergeant, all them, they seem to know what they're doing. Fucking first sergeant's pretty good. I was lucky enough to have, uh, when I first got the Bravo, at first sergeant Holmes, a good leader. And then when he left and first sergeant Mac took over, he's also a very good leader. So um, I got no real beef with him. What do you think of the IA? The IA? Yes. I'm pretty confident I could go into any fifth grade classroom in America and within a month turn them into a better platoon than any IA platoon you could fucking run into out here. They don't know what they're doing. They're all fucking substandard soldiers from what I've seen. They don't have a PT program. They fucking have negligent discharges all the time. They, they, they just suck. <laughs> I I like the IA you met at the sports center? Oh, God. Fucking goofy teeth. Everybody calls him like battery or something. He's always asking for fucking, oh, let me, you know, let me get that pouch. I'm going to put more crazy shit on myself. It's stupid. He thinks that, like, a lot of them tend to think that if they wear a bunch of, like, they see us wearing a bunch of crazy gear, so they figure if they wear all kinds of crazy gear, and that'll make them as good as American soldiers. But half the shit they work, like wear is broken, or they don't know how to use it, or you know whatever. So he just fucking walks around with like hundred pounds of random shit on him that doesn't do anything, makes him look stupid. Um, do you think uh, there's a possible Zulu Alpha? You should be ready for it. Um, I don't know, uh, the fucking chances of it are slim to none, but, I mean, like, like I said, you should be ready for shit. Uh, it's not, like, my Zulu Alpha plan can easily be adapted to pretty much any kind of catastrophic event. I think people should be ready in case of, I don't know, a meteor strike or collapse of society or whatever. You should help be prepared. What do you think the first Zulu attack will be? Um, well, where it could possibly be. Where it would be. Either it's going to be a genetically engineered virus, in which case it's going to happen in a third, or not, uh, it's going to happen in a built up country, or it's going to be some rare virus that people don't really see very much, so it be in a fucking third world country. If it happens in a third world country, it's going to start slowly. People aren't really going to know what they're dealing with right off the bat. It's got more of a chance of spreading. It happens in a first world country. And honestly, like zombies and shit prolif proliferated so much. You know, you fucking ask any random person, they're gonna know what it is. I think they'd be able to recognize it a little better. But uh, I think a lot of the initial attacks would happen in a hospital because people are gonna be hurt and go to seek help. And they're gonna end up in the hospital when they turn. You think uh? America would be able to survive it if they have a zombie there? Well, it depends on how, how bad it is to begin with. Like, 
There, there's so many factors, like are they fast or slow, what's the incubation period, you know, but I think if it started somewhere else in the world, like I said, unlike what it happens in movies, I think the general populace knows enough to be able to identify a zombie and you know, we react accordingly. So there's still going to be a lot of casualties, but I, I don't think we'd get overrun. The main thing that would fuck people over is that whole, like, oh, it's your family member, your buddy, and you can't shoot them because, you know, you still think it's them. There's be people hesitating, and they're going to get killed. Do you have anything else to say to the camera? To anyone who sees the video? Fuck Iraq. <laughs>